Welcome to Ucanic. Today we have a 2008 Chevy Silverado. It's got a 5.3 engine in it. And we're going to go over the process to be able to change out the spark plugs on this vehicle. Um, so the spark plugs, um, we have eight, of course, because it's a V8. So four on this side, four on the other side. Um, we have fairly easy access to get to them. And so we'll be able to just um, remove the boots there and then uh, take the spark plugs out and replace them and put the new ones in. Uh, one thing, you want to make sure that your engine is uh, cold or cold um, for the best application of uh, replacing these by pulling them out and putting new ones back in. Um, it's always fairly recommended on any vehicle to have your engine cold when you remove your spark plugs and put them in. Sometimes that's not always the case that you can do, but it works better for the threads. So um, we're doing just the spark plugs. Um, if you were replacing the coils and or the cables, your coils are located right here. Two 10 millimeter bolts, electrical connection, undo that and this cable and replace all of those all the way down if you're doing that. But we'll go ahead and work on getting these spark plugs out. This is a, it's a 5 8 um, socket or say a 16 millimeter socket for the spark plugs themselves to get them out. So first we'll work on getting them out and then we'll put the new ones in and tighten and torque them up to spec. So again, if you're reusing this, you wanna be, you know, kind of care, well, we wanna be a little careful getting these um, connectors undone. Right, so we had success on getting all these cables disconnected. Um, they are still just dangling from the um, coil. We could uh, also separate those if we feel we need to. So now, let's see if we can uh, success to remove the spark plug using our socket and ratchet. We may need an extension depending on our length that we need there. Make sure we're going in the counterclockwise. All right, so we've got spark plug number one removed, and we do a comparison of how that one looks compared to the other ones when we get ready to put them in. And that one doesn't look too bad. Looks like it's got a good, uh, you know, proper clean burn on it. And that one's looking pretty good too. Everything's looking pretty good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and remove those other two 
and then we'll come back. Uh, and now the other ones might need to use uh, a wobbly extension or something on it, but we'll see. If so, I'll let you know. All right, so we finished removing the eight uh, spark plug, or an eight, the four spark plugs on this side, and I um, installed the new spark plugs. Um, and they are just in there hand tight right now, just by hand. And so now we're going to torque them and torque them to spec, which is 11 foot pounds. I know it sounds pretty low. That's what the spec says, 11 foot pounds. We are going into an aluminum head, and so we don't need to tighten them any tighter than that. No anti-seize, nothing like that that you put on your, your spark plugs, especially these style. If you got your silver spark plugs, um, or if the spark plugs have a silver coating, that is like an anti-seize agent that's already on it. So you don't put anti-seize. So uh, finishing this up, we're going to torque these to spec. I guess that at 11 foot pounds. There we go. Nah. Come on. And so just being able to repeat this process. There was no other special tools needed back here to get these out. Um, so I'm just going to repeat and tighten all these to the torque spec and then we'll come back where we can reconnect our um, cables here. All right, so they're all um, torque and spec in here. I'm gonna go ahead and put our leads back on over the spark plug. And it doesn't hurt to put a little shot of uh, dielectric grease in there to give you a good electrical connection and to keep out any moisture. There we go. And so it's literally just line them up and then press pressing them on and you'll basically feel the click when it goes around that little nut that holds them in there. There we go. And then the back one. And so that is a replacement of the four spark plugs on what would be the left hand side of the engine. And then we repeat that process on the other side. And I'll show you what you're looking at. There's really not much any different over there. There's a few um, hoses a little bit down there, but you're just able, you still have enough space to get in there to replace those spark plugs. So coming at it from the other side here, we have all of our spark plugs here. Um, one, two, and three, and four on this side. Uh, you can tell, and so these spark plugs go a little bit toward the back, whereas the other ones came angled more to the front. So that's what's going to be a little bit different. So definitely that one in the very back corner, maybe a little bit uh, tight to get into, but you still should be able to do it. You may need to move these uh, heater core lines a little bit um, to gain access to different components. But you just replace these spark plugs much like you did the other side, and uh, replace all the four on this side so you replace all eight spark plugs at the same time on this vehicle and um, that's how you'd replace your spark plugs on a 5.3 engine Chevy product. Thanks for watching Mechanic where you can be the mechanic.